Well, we're just getting set to go down to the beach. We're going to go um, looking for abalone again. Or lobsters or anything else we can find. It's, it's really rough, so I don't know how we'll do and what it'd be like down there. Probably very wet and probably very windy. At the moment, it's not too, too bad if you look. But the wind is supposed to get up um, later again. And the rain is supposed to ease off, but uh, we'll see how we get on. Right, well, we're down here. I'm going to start walking down the beach. And it is quite breezy although it's coming off the land a bit so we shouldn't be too bad we can get behind the rocks better luck we might find a few scallops after this roll yeah it's got a bit breezy it's coming down off the land now yeah. You see a random metal table over there, that's uh, where they farm oysters. Well, there's only a few tables here now, there's not much going on. I think most of them get trashed by the storms, to be honest. So we're just walking down the boat, the... the uh, beach and we found this scallop he's I can tell he's alive because I lifted this rock and he was down the side and he's clapping all the time he's stopped now because he's for the camera but he is alive yeah. take it out, and, uh, out there he goes yeah there he goes yeah so he's well and truly alive let's have a look at him yeah I'll have to check the size on that but it looks legal I'd say it was legal because it's the back of this gauge I think Yeah, that's in within the yeah. that's within the gauge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say it's about size. So there we go. Something's it's not on. it's not often you find that many, but you get the odd one or two. It shows though he's he's rolled up. We're not even halfway down yet. Shows how far they're being rolled in. That's what we were thinking with the swell. You might get a few. You know that. Um, base we found on that ridge of sand down there yeah look at this this is interesting oh, yeah. look how far it's moved up we found this the other day we left it because we was carrying too much on the way back and the weight of it all but it's the base of a inkwell crab pot it's got a heavy weight tied in it or it did have a heavy weight and it's come how far is that 300 feet mm -hmm. 300 feet distance it's moved up the beach since the last time it's It'll end not up on that heavy, actually. That's why. Yeah, it's a lot of the rust. It's been bashed around. You see, that was much thicker when we found it, like encrusted. But all the rust is broken off to thin metal now. Mm. Right, let's uh, keep moving. We'll have to leave that here. If we see it on the way back, we might grab it. If not, it'll have to get washed up, and somebody will somebody will pick it up when they uh, come down the beach because they'll have it for their pots. So I've just walked, we've just walked across where we're going and just found another, I, I'm assuming it's a scallop, it looks like a whole scallop, but I knew there'd be some after this strong weather. There you go, that's a whole one. Yeah, nice. I'm gonna grab it. That's a bigger one. I think it is. Have a quick. Float away. Let me just turn around so the wind's not blasting the camera too much. Yeah, yeah that's a good size one. Yep, scallop number two. Put it in the bag. Like I say, after a big roll, you got a chance of scallops. You can tell um, these ones are shallow water ones by the colour of them. Yeah, it's under, yeah? Mine. What about these? The top one is undersized. Oh, I'm going to go with that one as a no, even He's that's under. under. Can you yeah. take the rock so I don't, because it's spinning around a bit. Got it? Yeah. It's just that it was twisting a bit and trying to hold the camera. We don't want to crush them. That's next year's. Those ones, they'll make size by next year. Starfish. Yeah. Little starfish. You've only got two legs. Look, something's yeah. had a go. Look at that. Oh, poor thing. He's got two legs. What the heck happened to him? 
Either, oh, sad, either something attacked it under the water or a human had a go at it yesterday. Just found a sea slug. One of the white ones. You don't see many of these. White sea slug, wow. Well, I say it's white, it's like a brownie colour, but they can be really white sometimes. It's quite cool. It's just there. It's got like loads of fronds on them and that. You see there? Yeah. Shot one there. Pick it up if you've got gloves. Look, Look at it. Weird things, they just stick yeah. under the rocks. Right, we'll get this rock back and put him back. Something might be water, but there, that's the crab's not going. Ah. Reckon we can pull this one. There's a handhold there. Just give it this. Ready? There's a beauty under there. Yeah. Show the camera. Look at that. Just check that. Absolute cracker there. A couple of them, I think. Yeah, perfect. Right, you're gonna need your knife. For this. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't need that laxative. It'll, it'll tip. That's it. Put it back there. Place it this way. Place it this way. Down a bit. Down, down. down. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Well in. well over well in yeah there we are this one and that's two i reckon yep beauties all right let's just get this rock back it'd probably go back your foot's out of the way yeah that's it. Okay. good 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 now where'd i put my hook yeah, I always forget where I put my hook. Look, look at these, look. Look at them again, just left to dry out in the sun. Oh, that's, I put that there. That's an empty shell. They're not empty shells. Oh, they're not? That's almost. Wow. You might want to bring your bag over and collect a few. I've got another one here as well. Put him on top. That, one of them's too small, I think. The other one's big enough, though. I don't know what that's all about, though. Yeah, that one's big enough for sure. I reckon people have been in the water up to their necks yesterday pulling rocks and they couldn't see the ormers and the ormers haven't moved. But it's funny how they're all on top of the rocks today. Well, I have seen that before though. One time where they were all literally on top of the rocks. There's that smell. <laughs> Nobody lifted this rock. I 
I did notice some of these rocks hadn't been turned. Nice. <laughs> I'll show the folks at home. There you go, look at those two in there, just along the edge there. One, two, three. There's three in there. Oh well, we've got our dinner. Yep. Or supper. Yeah. I'm going to bring a knife out and pop these ones off because they'll be easy with a knife. You see them all in there? Yeah. There's three of them. One might be debatable, the other two are fine. That's an absolute gem, that one, eh? <laughs> Beauties, eh? And that one, the one you got there. Yeah. The two of them, they're huge. Just from there, eh? And I tell you what, if you look here, you can check them. Look, because you've got the knife there. Right, you just see the corner of it? And then there, look up there as well. Yeah. So have a look at those as well. If you think they're too small and you. That one's That's too, too small, leave it then. And that one. That feels, it looks bigger. I don't know if I'll get the hook in there, that's anything. It's a weird angle, that one. I don't know why, he's gone up that way. There he is. He's big enough. He's got an old shell, I think, as well. He's on his verge of death, that one. Mm -hmm. See the way that the, uh, the sponge is eating that shell there? And he's not that big, it just shows they get attacked at all ages couple more abalone and another scallop so going well just come across a lobster so that'll put you to Rebecca will hold the camera, I'm going to try and get him. We make a quick tides coming in, I want to get it full out. I'll try it with a small hook first. Okay. If he goes further back then I'll use the big hook, obviously. something else in there. It might be an ormer. Hear it. I thought he'd gone sideways. I don't know if he's big enough that. Yeah, this is eight point, this is eight. So. Yeah he'd be too small. But there you go, one lobster. Put him back anyway. Back you go mate. I mean even if he is he'd be very close to the size and I'm not gonna yeah. worry about one that big. Right get moving because this water's starting yeah, to yeah. rush in now. It's not making your way over. No, I just wanted to get that on camera because I saw it and I thought, hey, lobster. Well, he did well to get out of there. Huh? Well yeah, it was a very sort of curved, it was a very curved hole he was in. Like, yeah. I thought he'd gone sideways, but I couldn't be sure because it felt like he was still, you could still feel something. Maybe there's a crab or something further up or a, like there might be an abalone in the hole and you're tucking the shell. Is that an there? No, that's another crab. Just saying, I don't know if you can see it, but the winkles on the weed. Billions of them.
to hear the way the seaweed is flattening down how fast this tide is ripping in it's got a long way to go to come up in six hours it's going to be coming up 30 odd feet or something. so you'll be standing in it'll be 30 foot of water where you are near enough so if, if everybody can imagine 30 foot yeah above my head yeah well, 20, 24 foot something. <laughs> yeah. Stick on a few big waves on top of that. Yeah. That's what was under that rock. A conger eel. Yeah, baby conger. Well, Deadman, let him go back. Let him go. <laughs> right. Well, it's worth a go because there was a baby almost next to it. So... Alright, let's just get going. successful trip. I know, very good. Surprised actually we got as many as we did. Oh. Little bag. We'll have a look at them later when we get back. So now we're just taking all this stuff out of the box because we put it in a box it doesn't get the car wet or anything. And uh, we're gonna have to rinse it all down because if you don't rinse your waders down you'll find your stitching can go rotten. And not only that, if you hang them up with salt on, they'll just attract the moisture into the shed as well. But everything will get rinsed down. We'll get the ormers and the scallops out in a second so you can have a look. So there you have it, there's about 20 warmers and three scallops. And you'll see on this one here how the warmer goes in and out the hole, how it wears its shell down when it uses the same hole over and over. And you'll also see on the scallops here how they look sort of dirty or the colours change. That's when the scallops are shallow water. Whenever you get clean looking scallops, they come from the deep water. Like from when the divers go down and get them and that kind of thing. But the shallow ones, they've only got to be in the, the shallows for a... A week or two and they'll end up looking like that and in the summer you'll actually get weed growing off the tops of the flat of the shell you'll get like the red weed or a bit of green weed growing on them but when they're deeper they don't the weed doesn't grow below a certain depth so anyway that'll make a nice uh, meal there <laughs> It's tea dribbling out your nose. <laughs> it is actually coming out my mouth, but is it even so, no. No, we don't want to waste it. No. Well, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next video.